Well, hi there, everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski. It's Friday morning. We all look ahead to the final weekend of August. And of course, the big thing is the cool down that is coming as well cold front is sinking southward today and one thing it's not showing we are seeing a number of little tiny pop-up showers and isolated thunderstorms around this morning we will continue to see more of those as the morning goes on so there is going to be a chance of rain here and there now it's still going to be pretty hot out ahead of this front today the slow mover here to the north of it cooler temperatures but uh, until this front comes through some of our southern areas are still going to be pretty toasty again today better chance of rain and thunderstorms will come towards the end of the day breezy north and northeast winds drawing in the cooler air so again showers and thunderstorms later this afternoon and into this evening and of course full-blown high school football going on later today we get a lot of games going on this evening we'll have to watch to see if lightning and thunderstorms maybe interrupt some of the games could postpone them to a little later in the night hopefully don't, they don't cancel those but we will see some of those around the area southern nebraska northern kansas through the evening hours later in the night those will clear out as the second cold front kind of comes through and washes out that's going to reinforce the cooler air coming in for saturday still a chance of rain tomorrow but the chances get lower and lower as the day goes on and then we'll clear up the sky Saturday night into Sunday morning. We say goodbye to rain for at least a week. It's going to dry back out again. And after a pretty nice night, Saturday night, Sunday morning, it's going to start to warm up a little bit heading into early next week. Storm Prediction Center does have a marginal risk of severe storms for t uh, southern Nebraska, northern Kansas for later today and this evening. A large hail and severe wind gusts, wind gusts are going to be your main threat. Well, you thought we were done with them. Well, we are not. The excessive heat warnings continue for another day in southern and southeastern areas, areas that could still see some triple digit heat index values. And in fact, heat index values over 105 are possible today. So an excessive heat warning continues until eight o'clock here and nine o'clock for other areas. <coughs> Excuse me, Whew. but uh, and in fact, I'm so sick of them, I'm getting choked up. But again, as you go farther to the north and northwest, not as much of an issue. High temperatures today, ranging from the mid 80s up north to upper 80s as well, to near 100 degrees in southeastern areas here. So it's still going to be a hot day for those to the southeast. Tri Cities, upper 80s, lower 90s. Western Nebraska, 70s, and even 69 there in Kimball. That's something that some of us will see more tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, we'll start off anywhere from the mid 50s to the mid 60s, maybe some upper 60s in the southeast. Highs on Saturday, this is going to be the coolest day most of us will see for a while. Mid to upper 70s and lower 80s for highs on Saturday. Saturday night down into the 50s, a nice pleasant night. Sunday morning, maybe open up the windows, let the fresh air in. But Sunday afternoon, the air conditioners will kick back on as we get to the low and mid 80s. Again, it's going to start to warm up next week. A lot of uh, low and mid 80s to start will slowly warm up a little bit more down the road. So... First off, rain. Slight chance this morning of a few pop-up little showers here. A better chance will come later today and into tonight right here. And then that chance will kind of come down through the day tomorrow. So our chances aren't great on Saturday. But they're better than anything we're going to see after that because it's going to be a lot of sunshine. Sunday all the way through Thursday of next week. Mid and then eventually upper 80s for the early and middle portions of next week. The lows are looking pretty good though, 50s and 60s. Then by Thursday, we're going to start to heat up a little bit more. So uh, Wednesday, Volleyball Day in Nebraska, the high in Lincoln is going to be somewhere between probably about 85 and 90. So not too bad out there. Uh, and hopefully it will cool down by the time the second game gets going at 7 o'clock. The first game is at 4.30 between UNK and Wayne State. Might be a little warm there, but a little cooler for the second game at 7 o'clock between uh, UNL and UNO. So that would be Nebraska and Omaha. Um, but then, again, a little breezy and warmer conditions on Thursday as we get back to the lower 90s. And, in fact, we're going to see a lot of 90s all the way through the Labor Day weekend. The temperatures are going to get hot again. Maybe not to the triple-digit figures, but still plenty hot for early September, mid-90s, maybe even upper 90s. And it looks like even on the 4th of uh, September, which is Labor Day itself, uh, still probably going to be in the 90s there as well. So we've got plenty of heat ahead of us here to come. So enjoy the little bit of a cool down. And unfortunately, the, uh, after today and tomorrow, tonight and early tomorrow, the rain chances, they're going to come down, it looks like, in the long range part of the forecast. So, uh, yeah, we're just kind of getting into this dry end of the summer spell and a lot of heat ahead. But, uh, yeah, enjoy these next couple of days. So with that, I'm going to let you all go. Thank you for watching on this Friday morning. Have a good weekend. And uh, I'll see you all again on Monday with all the latest. Take care. And God bless. Bye.